world um, we've been having these little video chat sessions for a while and I thought that you know it was probably about time we take this relationship to the next level um, and so that's why I brought you into bed with me to make this video about sex and disability um, sex and disability in my case as well as um, probably a lot of people who are disabled um, is something that is kind of a taboo topic. It's not very frequently discussed. I don't see articles about um, disabled sex. Um, I know that there's some fetish porn out there about it, but um, that's not something that I'm doing or interested in. Um, but I do think that it is very important that the world in general understands that just because I'm in a wheelchair doesn't mean that um, that I don't think about, talk about, and have sexual experiences. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm going with this. Um, I just think that the topic of sex and disability is a topic that really needs to be addressed and so I think that I'm probably going to be making a series of videos about it. Um, this one tonight is just kind of like, I don't know, a preview, just me brainstorming, ranting, uh, stream of consciousness, talking, um, but I know that people are curious about it, um, whether or not I'm capable of it, it um, whether or not other disabled people are capable or willing or interested. Um, and I think that that is really sad. Um, I think that, you know, most people in wheelchairs are <laughs> just people who happen to sit down a lot. That doesn't mean that we can't be moved onto a bed or move ourselves onto a bed or, um, have sex in a chair. Why not? You know, um, so if you are a disabled person, first of all, um, at one point in my disability, I threw out all of my sexy underwear, my, um, lingerie, just, I thought at that time that that was, a part of me that was gone forever and that um, my disability meant I had lost the ability to be sexy, um, to feel sexy. And um, I guess it was true at that time, you know, I, I, I didn't feel sexy, but um, since then I've come to realize that I'm actually more confident now than I ever was when I could walk when my butt was actually cute before it got all atrophied and stuff from sitting in a wheelchair. Before my legs were all atrophied and spastic and uncooperative with various sexual positions, um, I actually have become more confident since then. Um, and part of the reason why is because I do stuff like this. I just get on my computer and make a video about truth, about life, about reality. Um, and you know what? That's okay. <laughs> um, and the reality is I like sex and um, you should too because it's good. Now that said, you should be safe about it. You should... Um, be safe emotionally about it. You know, there are a lot of people who um, are looking for relationships or commitments or by, you know, anything. Um, and so if that's what you want, then yeah, just wait, you know, find the right person. Find, regardless, it's really important, especially for people who are disabled, that you find someone who um, understands that for you, sex might be different. You know, there are sensations that 
um, might be different, some of them good, some of them bad, um, you know, certain positions might not be, might not work, or they might, um, maybe you have to modify things, um, but that's okay, like, there are some things about disability that make sex even more interesting, like, well, I'll get into that, <laughs> you can message me about that, I can give you some tips, um, for, like, thinking outside of the box ways to um have fun sexually um but it is different with a disability it is it is like um but it's still possible and it still is enjoyable and you know people should do it in the right circumstances with protection and all that stuff um so anyway, I'm going to talk more about it. Sorry, I know my teenager is probably going to watch this and oh man, she's going to be mortified. But um sorry. <laughs> I'm your mom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um yeah, I know it's uncomfortable. <laughs> but that's life. My sisters, I'm sorry to you too. My parents, if you ever see this, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mom. I do have sex. I know it's horrible. Um, you too, dad. I though you might understand more. Um, anyway, other church people in my life or whatever, um, you know, like, I'm sorry. It's just part of human nature and there's nothing wrong with it. You shouldn't be ashamed that you are a sexual creature and I'm not ashamed that I am one either. So, um, just stay tuned for more stuff later. Thanks. Bye.